I was wondering if you could just tell us in the audience your relationship with Boulez. How did it start? What were your first impressions of him? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, he was uh, he was my my hero um, uh, when I was studying composition. Um, many people are, I'm sure. And um, yeah, he co- he conducted a lot of pieces, uh, important works, modern pieces. So there, uh, therefore, you can go and listen to his recordings and his concerts when he was active, uh, alive and active. And then I went to see him. Uh, his what he conducted, uh, not necessarily his own music, but but uh, that's what a lot of composers did back then. And then uh, I think 2003, it was uh, sort of like a call for pieces, but then it was internal. So it was, um, so I was lucky. I, at that moment, I met Peter Oetvish. Peter Oetvish is, is a very important person for me. Um, I mean, I even say even more important to me than Boulez because, uh, um, yeah, Peter Etrich, who I mean, I was a big fan of, and then uh, somehow London Sinfonetta at the time, they were doing this project and then they wanted, they asked me to take part, show called Blue Touch Paper, and then they asked, we can, we're thinking to, to have a mentor for for the each composer, me, for me too. I said, oh, okay, great. Well, well who, who do, whom do you want? I mean, we can ask for you. And that's all, well, I, so I wanted somebody who I can never meet. <laughs> right. Because I was a student, a rock college music student. Um, I said, well, what about Peter Oetvis? And they're just like, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll ask ask him for you, but I probably will know, I mean, right? <laughs> like, why, why would he say yes? I mean, he doesn't know me. Of course he doesn't. Right. But anyway, I find so 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 weird that, that, so they asked him for me, and he said yes. So, wow, he, oh, by the way, he said yes. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, your next lesson, so that my our first lesson is 10 months time from now. So, of course, of course, big star. And then I, I have 25 minutes, it's precisely 25 minutes. And, um, and okay, uh, 25 minutes, uh, it's 10 months, it's a long time, but it's okay, I, I, I can wait. But immediately, uh, two days later, I just got a very short email from Pet Oetvish. Two emails say, um, well, sorry, it's the email I was cut. Um, yeah, two, two emails um, from Peter Ertovich saying that, um, yeah, basically, I I don't know your music. Well, I'm sure. I don't know your music. Can you send some? That's it. So I this time was not, it was around 2002, 2003. So there are no, I mean, no one really sent like, mp3 or pdf score via email so i so please post your music to this address so you know actually went to post office and send it so i had some music uh, scores and 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 um, recordings on the cdr and so and then and send it to him and um yeah and then i didn't hear anything from him for well, until te- until I meet him, so but then that's normal. Why 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 would I hear from him, right? But but from that moment onwards, I'm getting all sorts of weird emails from a lot of places like Ensemble Modern, Academy der Kunst in Berlin, Luzerne Festival, and and uh, I think it was a Klang Forum being to all those sorts of places. Basically, they said exactly the same thing. I don't know you, but. Peter Utrecht said, we should know you. So can you send some music? Well, basically they were like, who are you basically? So, wow, because, because you know, you, you can't, I don't know, these days maybe people go into um, Facebook or something to get in touch with these people. I don't know, but at that time it was a, not such communication and there's no social, ne- social network. So if you don't know anybody, how do you get there? But anyway, does he open the door for me? So I just I just did exactly what they asked me to do. Please send us a score because we don't know you. So okay, I'll score send. So now everywhere I sent, it became some kind of project um, with me. That's great. And then uh, one of the Mount Lucerne Festival, and they were looking for young composer, two young composers for they will be chosen by Boulez, and Boulez the chosen composers will be um, workshopped by Boulez. A year before the world premiere and based on that workshop you can write orchestra music they will commission premiered by Boulez. and i mean 
why not why not enter so <laughs> so i entered and then uh yeah i was the i was shortlisted i remember i was shortlisted and um so 2003, so 2005 was the world premiere, so 2003, two years before. So they were asked me, we will support you, I mean, pay you to come to visit Lucerne, and then can you, because Mr. Belez wants to meet composers, final, final compo uh, fi finalist composers, and then he will decide. So, so okay, I'm, I, I, it's okay for me not to be chosen. I mean, if I, if I get to see him, I mean, like meet face to face, that's great, right? That's great. So that's, that's great. Um, it's fine. I mean, whatever that comes. So I went to Lucerne in 2003. Yeah, I remember the, there's a meeting point in this Lucerne Festival office, which is in the middle of town. It's a very t small town, Lucerne. And then I was like 45 minutes early. I don't know what to do. I was just walking, walking, walking around and all this time. And I just, I just couldn't walk anymore because it's just. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's this is Swiss. Uh, people say it's punctual, so it's okay to be maybe a little early. I don't know. Is it okay to be like twenty minutes early? But let's go in anyway. It's a bit rude, you know, twenty minutes early. So I went in there. So they were oh, you're early. So I remember. I never forget. I so I walked in to their office. I walked in, and I see, I see that a room with a door a little bit open, and I can see him, Bulez, looking over my squad. I can say, wow, that's that's Bulez. I've never seen that distance because he's always on the on a stage and i don't go back there and like a uh, fans or something i don't do that so you know what i mean the distance is far and then i'm i was student even now but i can only afford cheapest tickets so i'm like a back on the barbican right <laughs> like a really like like this you know bullets. that's my bullets distance so it got really <laughs> close <laughs> yeah small bullets now now it's like a like a 3d and everything well, it's 3d in a barbican too but so then um yeah, so I walk past. I, I don't want to say anything. I just, he's just looking like really into my score, like a, really in details, as if like there's a he's making a hole with his eyes. I don't know. So I was walking, and then so obviously he must have heard my footstep. So he turned, turned. So in the slit of the door, he sees me, and he he just he he just says, "Not yet." <laughs> Not, you know, like the way he, he stops the orchestra, not yet. So it's okay, no, I, I know it's I'm 20, 20 minutes early, so I'll just wait there. So I was just waiting, and then there's some office people are trying to make it easy, I guess. How are you? That kind of things. But I don't remember the conversation. I wasn't listening. <laughs> of course, I was too nervous. <laughs> too nervous, yeah. <laughs> so, so whatever, yeah, fine. So then the, the time come, ha has come, which is completely on the dot. He just comes out, out. now I'm ready, he said. And I said, you come in. And then I went on my own. So two of us, we just talking about the piece. And then, yeah, it was funny. He said, so I submitted the orchestra piece, most recent orchestra pieces, piece. And he said, you have heard this piece now. I, I had that piece of my own now. What's your self-criticism? That was his first question. I said, oh, that's easy. I have so many. So I went, I'll, I went from like page one, bar one, two, a lot. And then halfway through, he just, uh, he just grabbed my hand, grabbed my hand and said, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Because are you sure we can, I can go on? I know it's still page three, but <laughs> I can go. I said, no, it's not that bad. So then uh, we spoke, and then, uh, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, it was a very nice talk. And I was thinking, well, I can tell this to my grandparents, grandkids. <laughs> not, not that I had a child then, even, but I was thinking that. And then, um, yeah, and then a few weeks later, I heard that I, I was one of the two selected composers, and then I'll get to my music for the workshop. So the, a year after they did the workshop, but the workshop is also led by Boulez. That's crazy, right? It's not like assistant conductor anything he did. And then, uh, yeah, and then I uh, yeah, wrote it's good, uh, did that. <laughs> he doesn't really say much. He didn't really say much of the advice or anything. All he said was, it's hilarious to me, or well, anyone who knows the music a lot. He said, oh, here, perhaps, here, I mean, you can do something, I don't know, add trills or something. But it's hilarious because his music is often consists of trills. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, we can do some trips and that. But so I so I he told me that. So I did rewrote that section, he's right, but I didn't do trills. Because he said do trills, so I don't do trills. So I did something else. And uh yeah, and um yeah, it was I don't know. 
And then that, that, then a year after he well premiered, and then there's a, several years later he also conducted other pieces of mine, and there was a many encounter with him, not not just the um, the concert. I bumped into him many places, really many places. Sometimes I had a premiere, and he was in front of me in the audience. Of how now I know racking up, but it was very nice, very very nice, very. And I don't know, lots of sense of humor. And sometimes he would say, "Oh, I, uh, I, I, I received your your letter." Uh, sometimes I write letter. He wrote me a letter too. So it's, oh, your sense of humor is great, or something like this. And uh, yeah, it's it's really it's way more how can I say humorous and uh, um, how can I say it's it's not at all. It's very different. It's not the same image that a lot of people might have. Academic, right. isn't, I don't know. The last we didn't talk about anything like this. So way more casual, casual. and uh, casual, fast. The, the the thinking is so fast. It's like a, I'm in a, hanging on to the fastest car <laughs> or something, you know, because it's very very fast and he will he will just go on and uh, yeah. So but again, it's a, it's a it's very funny, very 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 gen- very generous, very yeah. It's a yeah, it's so always all uh, the the best uh, word I would describe is cheeky, very this che- the kind of very cheeky like a teenager sort of like a s- sparkle in his eyes always. Mm. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a very uh, fond memory for me. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he yeah, he, he, people might people say he supported me, but I'm sure he did. But I I don't really know in what capacity. It's not like I can ask. And also, he helped many young composers, which is great. And um, yeah, so but anyway, it was a it was a great uh, experience for me to meet somebody whom I saw his face, black and white, in a textbook. Now, not just very far in the Barbican Hall, it's in the very close. And now, shake hands and everything. It's it's, it's nice. It's uh, yeah, yeah. But it's very funny that the one episode, may if I may say so, I remember because after this experience so therefore i know him so i i think i can go back to stage to say hello let's say and it was in barbican it was um it was a bar talk a uh, bluebeard castle yes that's what he conducted yeah the concert version so he conducted he did that in barbican with the singers of course the orchestra and because i don't want to queue for like, you know there's a lot of music business people there yeah and i don't want to do this so i, I just run to the back of the you know the backstage when he stopped his conduct he finished the piece and then you know the people stopped clapping and then i run to the backstage so he was still when i arrived there he was still on stage is <laughs> taking bow even though hasn't come back yet yeah <laughs> right so anyway so i just i just made uh, uh managed to go in because i could be on the list so i just go in I was just just standing there because who am I? Nothing. So I was just standing there, at the, really at, at the really at the, on, the, on the side in the backstage, and people clapping, and then he, singers with dresses, and they just coming in and talking like, "Oh, it went well," blah 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 stuff. And then Blaze was just coming in for the first time, and then uh, is this audience going crazy, clapping, clap, clapping, and then uh, you know, and then he just he just yes, and he just looking at me, "Oh, die!" It's like and he just came to me. He's really talking as in not like, "How are you?" Blah blah blah. He was talking immediately. He, he immediately he remembered three months, six months ago. I met him. I was going somewhere to have my concert or something, my piece. And he was, oh, how was that? How was? I remember he would say, how was Donna Michigan? Or sometimes he said, how was Japan? How that that kind wow. of? You remember how was that? The, but, but it's in the middle of an entire Barbican. I'm sure the stuff. That, who the hell is that guy? I mean, <laughs> who is he? I mean, we no, the concert is not finished. So <laughs> going on and on, and then uh, you know the audience are clapping and singers are waiting what to do and then uh, he just immediately to, to the singers oh you go you go and the singers went there on stage without bullets and bullets is talking to me in the conversation not like a blah blah conversation it's like oh how was it who conducted that and uh, oh which orchestra blah blah, blah. oh that was good blah, blah, blah. and uh, there's a real conversation going on and then the singers mm-hmm. even singers took bow several times and came back yeah. and now he really need to go <sighs> so the stage manager i think says that maestro you really have to go and they said, oh, well, I, so I probably have to go. So I'm like, okay, please. <laughs> so they went. It's strange, right? Oh. It's this, 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 this concentration. Like, uh, but I wasn't there to say, 
I am here. No, not at all, because the concert is not finished. I was at the, at the, you know, the barbican is long, so there's a backstage door. I just opened the stage. I was just standing there, like as if I'm a, a guard or something, like a staff of the hall, right? He just, uh, just, he just look at, oh, I died. Just right, he came, so I had, I made him walk to me. And then he's really engaged, really engaged conversation as if there's no one there. No one is around us. I'm just talking really, really in details. Um, ah, so almost, um, almost as if he didn't do a concert at all. He just came. No, no, it's just, yeah. Uh, that's oh. another thing that, uh, another thing that I have noticed that he, every time I see him, this is my, my own impression. He conducts and then he, the con performance is finished. And I think he, for him, it's done. Hmm. It's, it's, it doesn't seem so much interesting, like bowing and, and how beautiful he was, blah, blah, blah. I can see in his face now because I knew him. It's like, a, he, he did his amazing performance. And then that, that's just his mind is next. It's just, um, yeah. So it's, so it's quite often I saw him in Europe, um, audience, they are standing ovation and everything. Hmm. But he just takes the orchestra back like a second bow. So it's enough. <laughs> but you know how these people just go on like 10 times, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that means applause, applause. It's just like, oh, it's enough. It's like <laughs> orchestras. We are standing there. I was thinking, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that was like three minutes. <laughs> but I, I, yeah. I, find that, I find that really, really admirable that, you know, even even after a concert, when your mind is all over the place, you know, conducting. You're open carrying, now, oh, yeah. out of all these things. <laughs> out of all those things. You care, you, you think about so much and then at the backstage and you see your friend, you give all your attention to your friend. I find that really, no. really admirable. No. Really, really how admirable. was, and then the first thing, oh, I, I died. How was the narration again? How was your, your trombone concerto? How, how was that? Who conducted that? that, that, that this is the, the whole thing. And then uh, imagine that hit status and no one can mm. interrupt this conversation. And then mm. everybody's mind, I, I could see like a, as if it's a, in a manga, uh you know like a bubble say so who yeah. the hell is that guy <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> who is he <laughs> it's, i i i felt i i don't know i i should have done that or not but it's a it's very yeah even oh, in the general rehearsal yeah in general rehearsal i sometimes i, I observe because i love going to general rehearsal because i learn a lot and as i said before i can never afford this kind of very expensive seat or anything so hmm. in general rehearsal i can sit anywhere hmm. So I, 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 I learn and so I'm just there. And then sometimes from the stage after, after the general rehearsal, Bule said, oh, uh, Bule said, oh, Mr. Fujikura. Sometimes he has a joke, he say, oh, die. And then we just said, hi. I said, oh, come back, come, come back, come back to backstage. And then, then sometimes I, so I, sometimes he said in his room, in his uh, conducting dress room, which is funny, his dress room has nothing. I think there's no, nothing. You know, quite mm. often big star or, or ask for many things, right? Yeah, sure. it's, it's nothing. And then he said, "Oh, you sit there." I was okay. I said, "I mean, I don't know. I just want to say hi." That was it. It's, there's no. Uh, I don't need. I don't have anything to discuss in this case. But he's there, and then we just discuss. And in the meantime, that a lot of people comes in, including the, well, for example, including like a Pierre Lohanema, whom I also I know, who's gonna play the piano concerto. Yes. He's a soloist tonight's yeah. concert. So he wants to discuss about tempos, mm -hmm. of course. But I'm there for some reason because I, I was there before. So I was going to say, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to go. Of course, I don't want to interrupt. Because no, no, don't go. So, okay. I, I, I just sit there right next to Pierre Lonema talking about second movement. Just, I'm just observing. It's, it's amazing for me to look because how yes. these two to discuss. I'm just, I'm like a nodding. And then uh, after the done, so okay, so now it's going to be, so we'll, we'll do that, he would say. To Pierre mm -hmm. and then and Pierre one is he's very nice. He's just he looking because ah, I'm sorry and interrupted. He said, "So what? No, I'm not interrupting. I'm interrupting you." Uh, so I don't know why I'm here. So it's it's a very strange. And in the meantime, there's a, like a lead of the orchestra saying hello, and of course, mm. all that kind of stuff. But I'm just there. Don't know what I should. So it's yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's amazing. Yeah, but he will ask. You will ask. A, yeah, like a genuine interest. Uh, what I do, what I'm doing, what am I writing next to? Who, who did you work with last? 
on uh, in, in like a no like I was I say normal conversation sure. but with a with a lot more attention I think yes very concentrated attention yes. oh, <laughs> which that, is, could that, be overwhelming I mean how did that make you feel that he gave you so much attention and so much time no, no it's 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 nice um I don't know it's it's a very strange for me to say uh who am I to say I know that but you know sometimes that when you meet somebody hmm a friend or whatever, whoever, that you meet somebody that you something. I know it's very, very arrogant of me to say, but I don't know how other way to explain. But I yeah. definitely can say that that him and I, we when we spoke, whatever, like this, um, he's a public person, and I can see. Even then, I can see it's a real click. Hmm. You know, it's a, it's not that um politeness or anything. Hmm. But it's really we, we we sort of I don't know it was to be honest that rehearsing with him and stuff is that really easy. Funny enough, easiest person to rehearse is with him, I would say. And a lot of people uh, was I remember people around me was surprised the way I well not behaved. I guess in the rehearsal I behaved fine, but I, because but because I asked for many things in rehearsal. I asked him, well, well, they're not together. Can you make it together? That sounds out of pitch to me, blah, blah. That sort of thing. It was fine. I mean, a lot of people said that the young composers with him didn't really say much, but I said a right. lot of things. And uh, yeah, but I remember that I told him, I, I, I asked him, I'm sorry, I asked you many things. And he said, no, no, I like correcting mistakes, he said. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, was, it was really fine. It's really wow. not a single weird. There's no uh, ego, uh, at least with me. There's nothing like that. It was a very down to the business. Let's 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 get on with work. It's mm. uh, that's not a you know what I mean, like a politics as in like oh you know who I am. Not not now. Nah, just yeah. this music sound, and somebody's F sharp is too sharp. Let's fix that. And we fix that. Mm. And that and that is too loud. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's too loud. I could. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear the pickle. It's probably my fault. Because okay, you play a little bit quieter. Okay. It's very everything very fast. Two, three, one. Did you hear that? Yes. Good. Next. Very fast. <laughs> yeah. But then it's it's never like yeah. It's never weird. You know what I mean? Like a personal yeah uh, game. I'm saying well, not with me. It's just very in a good sense. It's very dry. As in in a good way. It's like a, mm. let's do the task and this is the work. This is the task and we feel good because we fixed and then and then yeah. <laughs> so that's absolutely. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a strange, uh, it's not always like that with the conductors, let's say, mm. because conductors uh, always have sometimes, the peop- I don't know why they have, they have to do their thing, the conductor thing. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes and then sometimes it gets very boring, but with him, it was, at least with me, it was, a, it was, it was direct. Yes, uh, so, there was mm-hmm. that deeper chemistry between you two, yeah, that allowed it to happen. Yes. Yeah. Um, 